Hi guys, today I want to share you how to set up the fields uh, visibility and required level in the business process flow stage. Okay, firstly, let's look at my requirement. I hope if the current BPF, if this BPF, BPF Test Force uh, Student Ad, uh, application this this uh, specified BPF and also I hope I need uh, the field house housing assistance must be yes and also the, the uh, uh, active stage must be qualified stage then if the above three conditions are met then I hope the household uh, income field will be visible and be required if or uh, or else this field will be invisible and optional for example okay if I set to no then you can see it will be high right so if I um, jump to the the next stages uh, if I, no matter what I choose, set this value to yes or no, here the field are always, uh, the field is always uh, hidden and uh, optional. So, as uh, as you can see, this uh, my requirement has been um, finished. Actually, it, it, it's it's uh, finished by the business rule. There are two ways to uh, to realize my requirement. The first is business rule. It's very uh, for this requirement, you know, it's very simple. So business rule could be a better option to do that. Very simple and very straightforward. Yeah. So I set three conditions. Uh, the first condition is business business uh, process uh, flow. The name must be the specified name and the field the housing assistant field must be yes the value will be yes and also the active stage must be qualified so these conditions are met then I will set the uh, uh, this field uh, visible and business required so this field exists in the, in the BPF in the BPF. Okay, so next I want to share you how to realize this the same process by using JavaScript. Sometimes if your uh, logic is very complicated, business rule is not a good idea to do that. JavaScript could be a better option. So, uh, yeah, let's get started with the JavaScript. Firstly, let's go to the uh, the form editor. Okay, firstly, let's deactive this business, business rule. Then we go to the form editor. Uh, go to the form uh, property. And then we need to add a new library. Actually, I have... Uh, I prepared the JavaScript already to save your time. So let's just paste. So firstly, add add new. Let's see uh, uh, setup uh, field in BPF and type. It's JavaScript. And then click text editor. I paste here. Uh, okay, later I will uh, go through this uh, script with you together. So now let's click OK. And just uh, save and publish. Okay, about the code, uh, 
let's have a look at it together. Okay, so this is my code. There are two functions. The first function is for onload operation. It will be triggered uh, when, when the form is, is loaded. And the other function is hide housing income field in stage. So uh, in this stage, okay, in, in this function, we can see uh, the first gather form context. Then we using we use this uh, API to get the current BPF, right? And as some protection, if this uh, BPF is not now and we get the name, if the name not this BPF we required, uh, we want it, uh, so we just return. Um, and next, we just get the active stage use this uh, API, uh, form data, process, get active stage, and next get the stage name. If this uh, active stage is not now, if yes, we get the name. Um, if no, we just set it to blank. So the next, we just uh, judge this uh, the stage name. If it's qualified, then we will uh, get the uh, attribute for housing assistance. Uh, assistance that that's the uh, this field. We get this field value and get the value. So if we just judge this value, if the value is true, you know this value is two options, uh, two option types, type. So if if we if the value is yes, so here actually uh, in the in the JavaScript its value is true, not yes, it's true or false. So if it's true, we just set visible to true. This field is uh oh. Let's refresh. So this field um, is this field. So we just we just here we just get the uh, uh, this field is uh, logical name, but. Please remember, we need to add a specific uh, prefix. It's header process uh, underscore. Then followed by uh, this field is logical name. Yeah, so this is very special. So for all the fields in BPF stage, so we have to add this prefix to their logical name because this field's logical name is hs and score housing a household income so we have add this prefix header process and score okay so we just set visible to true and get control and get attribute set the required level to required and uh, if uh, all else, so we just set the visible is false. Set the required level to optional. It's nine. Okay. Uh, so since we have added this JavaScript into the form, so let's just add it, and let's add the the, the trigger event. So firstly, for the onload, uh, this is onload. Okay, onload function, uh, there are two important steps. The first step is we just add this function to on stage change. That means each time the BPF stage changed, it will trigger this function. And the, the second step is we just hide 
this uh, height, this uh, income. No. Oh, sorry. Should this? This one means when the form is unloaded, it will trigger, it will call this function. And unload, we will register this function into uh, this event. I mean, on, sta on stage changed. Okay, so I hopefully I have uh, make it clear for you. So for the two steps, then we just copy this function to here. So firstly, let's okay, copy paste. Check this option and click OK. And we need another trigger event is when the uh, housing assistant this field is changed. So just add. Uh, but here we will trigger this function directly. Copy, paste, check, OK, then OK, save, publish. Now let's refresh this page interface. So let's have a look. Okay, if we okay, if we set this value, this field value to no, so uh, the housing income should be be uh, invisible, right? Yeah, it's invisible. If we set to yes, you can see it has been required and visible. Okay, that's it. So uh, you can check my script in the in this video's description. Um, you can just uh, copy and paste in your project and update, uh, modify it based on your actual scenario. So if any questions, just let me know. Um, hopefully this um, video could be helpful for you. Uh, see you next time. Thank you.